silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with, with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands render to them their desert. <clears throat> because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them, and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. That is read through chapter 28 of Psalms. May the reading have a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers of this holy word. While you remain resting on your feet, let us do our statement of faith. And after you complete the statement of faith, you may be seated. God is who he says he is. God can do what he says he can do. I am the Lord God says I am. I do all things through Christ. God's word is alive and active in me. All hearts and minds clear. Let us go to our Father's prayer. Mm -hmm. Most high God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the creator of the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, all that is, all that was, all that will be, the Almighty. Gracious Father, shine your face upon us that we may be saved. Forgive us for we have sinned and fell short of your will and your glory. But hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for your grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for love. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We thank you for peace, joy, and courage. We thank you for inner strength. Purity, kindness, and love in our hearts this morning. But most of all, Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who went to Calvary's cross, hung, died, shed his blood for the remission of our sins and the salvation of our soul. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that dwells within us each and every day. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray for peace in Jerusalem this morning. Now, Lord, we ask that you look over St. Francis today, Father. Bless us. Look down the midst of the sick and shed in, Father. Touch each and every heart this morning. Bless their hearts, bless their souls, bless their minds. Father, we ask you to be in our midst today, Father. Touch each and every one of us that's present. 
In your name, Father, we pray. Lift us up. Build us up where we need strength, Father. Touch our hearts, souls, and minds that we'll do your will. And we'll be a light in the community, representing you as good ambassadors, Father. Now, Father, we just ask that you bless Pastor Perry this morning as he brings the word, Father. Let your word go out, penetrate the hearts, souls, and minds this morning, Father. That the world will know that you are still yet living. That you are the true and living, most high God. That there's no name above your name, Father. Now, Father, we just ask that you... Look over the systems this morning, Father. Correct the systems that are wrong. Bless them. Put them in the right direction, Father. Now, Lord, we just ask you to bless us all this morning. Keep us. Look over our city this morning. Look over Central Texas. We ask you to touch each and every family that's been afflicted by the coronavirus this morning, Father. We just ask you to be who you are. You say, yeah, Lord, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We have to fear those who are with us. You have your rod and your staff with us. Call upon your name. And you will show us great and wonderful, mighty things that we know not. Father, we call it on your name. Rain your spirit down on us. Lead us, guide us, and protect us. In the name of Yeshua HaMasiah. Amen. Amen and amen.
us in a prayer of healing, a prayer of understanding and being able to work together as a family. sings all summer and when winter comes he looks to the ant for food and the grasshopper well that's fake but the ant works all summer and does everything it's supposed to do but we look at the grasshopper the grasshopper sings all summer and he approaches the ant and the ant looks at the grasshopper and says well you sang all summer why don't you dance all winter we're praying now for healing understanding and working together we're in a spring time. Mm -hmm. We're in a spring. We're having a regrowth. As we start to rebirth and we head into our summertime, we need to work together as the ant. We need to all go in the same direction, doing the same thing. This way we will get healing, we will have understanding, and we will grow. So we need to work as the ant. Yes. Going in that direction. God our Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you now asking for healing, understanding, and the ability to work together. Father, as the ant colonies work together, we ask that you put understanding, peace, and harmony within the walls of St. Gregory at this point, Father, that we may work together and have an understanding with one another, of one another, to one another, then we will do your will, and we will go in the direction that you would have us to go, Father. Father, we ask that you heal all old hurts. Yes, yes. Heal all the old pains. Mm. Let those things be released, Father, back into the light and return from which they came. Father, let your healing come. Heal hearts, heal minds, and heal souls. Father, let those wounds be sealed that we may grow from them. Father, you forgive us. Let us forgive one another so that we may move forward, that we may grow and understand and be more like you. Father, when you take our, when you take our sins and throw them in the sea of forgiveness and forgetfulness and remember them no more, teach us to do the same thing. Take, uh, teach us to take our hurts and put them in the seed of forgetfulness where we will remember them no more. Father, we just ask you to lift us up this morning. Touch our hearts, bind our hearts and our souls together, one with you. Let us be connected to the true vine, which is you, Father. Prune us. Throw away all the bad parts of us. Burn them, Father. Let it be done in <clears throat> Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we ask that you give us understanding of one mind. Let us be please, with please, please, one accord, please, Father. Please, please. Like minded, serving you, doing your will, being a light in the community, just lifting up your holy name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask that you touch us today. Touch us, heal us, give us understanding, and let us work together that we may be good workmen in your kingdom, Father. You said the harvest is many, but the labor, the harvest is much, but the labor is a few. Father, like Gideon, we don't need 20,000 people, but we need people that are dedicated to your work and to your word, Father. Touch us and give us that commitment to be your children and doing your will in the name of Jesus this morning. Amen, Jesus. Amen, 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 and amen. amen.
Amen. <clears throat> it's offering time. It's offering time. Praise the Lord. Let us stand. Brother Kai, 3 through 8. Brother Kai, 3, 8 through 12. Will a man rob God? Yes, yes he hath robbed me. But he say, Wherein has he robbed me? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me. Even the only nation, bring me all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now with it, said the Lord of hosts. That I will not open the windows of heaven, and pour it out of blessing, that there should not be room enough to receive it. Amen. Uh, I was uh, being uh, me. <laughs> thinking about something. How many of y'all perfect in here? You mean to tell me I'm the only one? <laughs> I'm just like all of y'all, perfectly floored. Every time you look around, you find something wrong with me like I will find something wrong with you. But there's a banner we need to hold up that will hold us, keep us from being so flawed. Love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two things that are going to get you in. If you don't love God with all your heart, you ain't going to make it. We're not going to get through this epidemic loving myself. Amen. We have to love each other, which means that we have to help each other. We have to do what it takes to make a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. It is time for the church to stand up to what it says it belongs to. Amen. And that's the banner of God. Amen. Loving God, loving your neighbor. James said, how can you love God if you don't love me who you see? Mm -hmm. right. You have to love me before you can love God. So when you get up tomorrow morning, you need to think of a person loving those people, not just one people, but all people. My friend told me that I need to pray for the world and all the people in the world. Because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. That's it. of next month at 9.45 we will have Sunday school. Sunday school starts the first Sunday in next month. We look forward to seeing you here. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this offering. Thank you for the ones that had to give, the ones that had died. We ask you to bless this and our other blessings. We ask the name of our son Jesus. Amen. I forgot that other thing too.
Next Sunday is Pastor's anniversary. <laughs> so Bessie will be talking to you about that. Thank you so much. Uh, you know what it's called short term memory. <laughs> okay, next Sunday is Pastor's anniversary. We know we used to have huddle and all the things that go on, but with this pandemic going on and all this stuff over there. We're going to give our, I'll tell you again, our pastor an anniversary. I have all the notes for everybody in here. Okay, you can talk if you want. <laughs> Y'all are born. We asking everybody for twenty five dollars. If you got a couple of hundred to put in there, I mean, two, two. Miss 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 Kennedy says she has a couple of hundred. She gonna she gonna put it in here. And guess what? I got the name checked out. Yeah, I got the name checked out.
and you know that this year we've been working on prayer, knowing that we have to pray to get ourselves together. And so we going to do something a little different this morning because it just seems like we're in a spot and just spinning our wheel. Not knowing that a prayer needs to come from the heart. Or, or, or maybe you're not understanding the words that are being said. So we're going to talk this morning and following up on Mark, that seventh chapter. I'm going to read starting at that 31st verse. Mark 7. And 31. We ask you at home, please pull your sword out. I, I, I don't want you to be confused or misled. We are to read it for ourselves. I'm only going to read a couple of verses, but in your leisure, you can go back and read 31 through 37. And it reads, and again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the sea of Galilee, go through the mist of the coast of Decapolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf and had an impairment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hands upon him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers in, in his ear and he spit and touched his tongue. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're looking at this this morning and knowing that last week and this week both have to do with intercessory prayer. Mm -hmm. But you know how some of us talk, we have to use our hands. Mm -hmm. So I want to help y'all out this morning. And the title that we're going to use today is Can You Hear me now. <laughs> if you can't read it, at least you can understand the sign language. Okay. Okay. Our Father has already told us that everybody that stands up and says, Lord, Lord, will not enter the kingdom of heaven. When we call on him, we need to call from our heart. I pray and, and hope that, that we all understand that nothing happens without prayer. Yeah. Last week we looked at this Gentile woman 
who come before Jesus with intercession prayer for her daughter. All she asked for was just a crumb. She didn't ask for a full plate. She didn't ask to get a instant and a complete blessing, but just a crumb. See, this young lady, when she heard the word no, she did not lose hope. She prayed again and again at Jesus' feet until her request was granted. Our text today starts off with and again. And if we look at ourselves and tell the truth, some of us have a problem with that word again. Even the action. Because we get the mindset that I done prayed for them. I done helped them. But when we look into their lives and we begin to judge that they're not doing what we want them to do, we say, I'm not doing that again because they didn't appreciate it amen, amen, amen. the first time. True, right, true, true, true. I want to ask a question. How many of you will be where you are today if Jesus didn't come back and touch you again and again? Amen. We can keep that again going on. But I thank him for that again. But looking and it says here that departing from the coast of Tari and Sudan, he came unto the sea of Galilee through the midst of the coast of the Catholics. Once again, Jesus has left one Gentile side and he begins to enter into another Gentile nation. And we use the word again in this country. Because when we look back in scripture and realize that Jesus has already been here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He was there when he stepped off the ship. It says that Jesus had walked upon a graveyard. And in that graveyard, he found a man that was demon possessed. Mm -hmm. This man full of devils. They called him legion because there were so many. But you see, when we look into that story and realize that even the devil had enough sense to listen and know who our Savior was. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. They began to ask, what are you going to do with us? Uh -huh. Allow us to go in the swamp. Yes, yes. And Jesus allowed them to go in the swamp and, and they ran down a steep place into the sea 
and the people of the capitalists came and seen what Jesus had done mm -hmm. and told him to leave the country. But we get to the again. Jesus entered into that city again, giving them another chance. But even before he left, he told the young man to go tell everyone what has been done. If you allow me to assume for just a moment, I'd say that this man did just as Jesus had said. This country full of idols, gods, he began to start telling everyone about the healing. But our scripture here tells us that that when Jesus entered into that country once more, they didn't chump rock said him. They didn't want him to leave. But they brought to him a man that was deaf. A man that had speech problems. And all they asked for was just a crumb. See, when we start to see where our help is coming from, it is then we begin to make a change. But we have so many folks that is just like this deaf man. They have put up roadblocks. They don't want to hear the word of God. But they are paying attention to worldly things. These men that brought this deaf man the one with the speech impairment. Uh -huh. They had enough faith in them to ask Jesus, just put your hand uh -huh. on it. Right. They didn't ask for no big long prayer. Uh -huh. They didn't ask him to wave a wand or give them a full blessing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They had enough faith that all they wanted was his hands placed mm. on this young man. Yeah, right. See, we have folks that will follow you around. Scripture says that, that as they took him aside from the multitude. See, Jesus realized that we have so many folks that is just trying to be nosy. We have so many folks that see that you are being blessed. So they want to come around and under, try to understand why you are being blessed uh -huh. the way that you are. But Jesus took this young man to the side. Uh -huh. See, we have to understand that sometimes we have to set ourselves apart in order to be blessed. Because when you begin 
to talk to our Father. They have this one over here with so much negative thoughts and comments that the Holy Spirit don't want to come and work on your behalf. So Jesus, he took this young man to the south so that they can be alone. But you see, they tell me that Jesus don't work the same way every time. This time, he decided to put one finger in that man's ear. And he spit on another finger and began to place it on that death man's tongue. Scripture says that Jesus began to sigh looking up to heaven. See, Jesus is showing us an example here that before you call on our Father, you first have to humble yourself. We always want to come and talk with a bold voice. But I want you to know one thing. Our Father not going to bless you if you're stuck on self. You have to humble yourself before Him. And Jesus began to look up and He bumbled one word. Be open. Scripture says that straight away his ears was open and the string of his tongue was loosened and he began to speak plain. I want you to know one thing. When Jesus put his finger in his mouth with his own saliva on it, it went down and it lubricated the vocal cords so you can be able to call on the name of the Lord. That finger went in that ear to try to block out all of the worldly conversations to pull out all of the junk that we have in our own ear canal. We know that even today we have what they call a Q-tip. And we need to understand that we have to use it every once in a while. He went down and he fixed that old eardrum. Now that old eardrum was acting like an old trampoline. When something went in, it was bouncing it right back out. But our father went and he reconditioned that old drug so that it would be able to receive the word of God. He sat there and he fixed the old pathway that went from the drum to that old mind. So see, we got to have the mindset to understand that he is working on our behalf. I thank my father for all that he had done. But you see, our father had blessed this man beyond all men. And he began to tell this man that you can go, but I charge you not to tell no man. But you see, the more he charged them, so much more, a great deal, they began to publish it. See, we need to understand here, Jesus knew that there was still a problem with our hearing and 
understand because he said and when he said don't we forgot the NT and we heard the do and we go out and begin to tell everybody what he told us not to take we begin to run our mouth in places that we know we shouldn't be run. See, Jesus was in this Gentile nation just to get a little bit of rest. But I love him because he would never let anybody go hurt. He never let anybody go without a blessing. No matter how many times you come to him. We ask you today, can you see your blessing? Can you see that we need to start off each and every day with prayer? Can we see that he is who he say he is? See, we look at the scriptures and realize that the Gentile nation, the pagans, believed that Jesus was who he said he was. But when he went back to his own hometown, they didn't want to believe. They could not see the blessing that was standing before him. We have to realize and understand that we need to be like the Gentiles, spreading the word and saying that he has done all things well. He's making both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. I love our Father, mm-hmm. for reconditioning my hand. Right I can't talk about you, but I can tell you about me. Right that there's a time that I enjoyed that old worldly work right and didn't worry about the word of God. Right but you see, I had some sign language that came into my life. I want you to know that that sign language came from my grandmother. My grandmother, when you did something wrong, she would rear back and you understood that sign was straight up or you gonna feel my mighty rap. I understood the sign language and begin to open up my ears. Begin to allow my speech to be a little bit better. To understand that I need to listen to the word of God and not of the worldly thoughts. We need to realize today that if we continue to pray, if we continue to live each other up, we can all be saved. But you see, when we look at the scripture, because I don't want nobody to go with a question and thoughts. When we look here and realize that when you start digging within the scripture, they began to talk about Jesus coming to that tomb years ago. But they didn't talk about that old woman that stood in for a dog. See, this young lady was told to go home and your daughter will be there. So we have to understand 
the law and, 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 and the way is even in some countries today that the men was able to walk around and tell you how good God was. But the women were supposed to be silent, not say a word. We have to realize today that through our prayer, everybody has a voice. Through our prayer, we able to lift up somebody. I ask you today, are your ears cleaned up? Is your vocal cords limbered up to talk about our Father? To lift Him up in our time of need. We're all going through this trial and tribulation together. But we understand that if we listen to the word of God, if we continue to pray, this too shall pass. God bless you.
promise keeper, the light in the dark. Name. Now it's the time to answer. Tomorrow's not promised. Somewhere in the Bible, the question was asked, how many times shall I forgive? And Jesus answered seven times, seventy-seven. So that sounds like again and again and again and again to me. So if you at a place where you need to do something again, again, and again, can you hear me now? So they did surgery and everything was going good. And then this past week they had to take him back in on Friday because the retina was detached again. And they said it was good. It was good they did because if they not done it until they looked at him again, he would have probably lost his eye. And so I just ask you all to please just pray for Jaden for healing in that eye and that that retina stays attached and that God's anointment and touch just comes upon him. Young man, you got something you want to say? Well, I have a question. Do you believe in prayer? Amen. 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 That will allow prayer to come in in your life and heal through your belief. Amen. We know you can't be moved much, so we we, we ask that. come before you, asking you right now, touch, healing, mm -hmm. understanding, unity, Father. We come, lifting James' eyes up to you, Father. Open his eyes, let him see again. Let your healing rain down upon him. Give his father peace, give his mother peace, give them joy in their heart. Let your spirit reign, let your spirit rule. Father, we just ask you to heal this young man's eyes this morning. Touch his heart, soul, and mind. Open his spiritual eyes, Father. Yes, yes, yes. That you are the most high God. There's none higher than you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just ask you to rain down upon us this morning. Touch each and every heart here today, Father. We need your healing. We yes, need your yes, understanding. Yes, yes, Father, we yes, see yes. your union down the front. Say, precious, Father. Yes. Father, we just ask you to bless each and every household within this, this house today, Father. Yes, Father, yes, Father. Yes, bless yes. and keep every one of us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you. 
way back a miracle of the work in mind. I pray that somebody receives something today. Knowing that if we open our minds, our hearts, we will see the love that is around us. But until we open up our hearts, our minds, our ears, and be able to talk for him, we're just going to be in the dungeon. I thank God every day for what he has done. Sometimes it's real minor, but I thank him for that crumb. He is who he says he is. If all hearts and minds are clear, uh oh, I guess not. Okay, next Sunday morning, it's going to be all the service. Next Sunday morning. So be here next Sunday morning. We're going to do all our love and all that good stuff. And uh, uh, he went to the doctor, and the doctor told him to put back on his red meat. So he said he's supposed to cut it in half. <laughs> so Reverend Corey and I have decided that we're going to give him a half of steak. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't eat both. So we're going to put it in half. So next Sunday morning, next Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, here. And as we just noticed, sometimes talking gets you in trouble. It's going to be your message. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. 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 If all hearts and minds are clear. Let the church sing. Father, we ask that you look down upon your children. Father, you know the trials and tribulations that they're going through today, dear Father. For Lord, we just ask that you look in their hearts and their minds. Father, we ask that you strengthen them where they weak. Father, I encourage them to do the things that you want them to do. And dear Heavenly Father, we just ask that you look at your beef offers in here, Father. And let them dance for you, dear Lord. Father, let them call upon your name. But Father, we know that you are worthy of all the praise. And we have a Father. We ask that we leave this place, but not from your presence. That you continue to guide us, teach us, and show us the way. Down to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy to the only wise God, our Savior, in glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And we all said, 